All right. Hello, everyone. This is Shannon from the Macedon Public Library, and I am here today to do a paper craft. We are going to be learning how to make paper roses. So these are a couple examples of the ones I made. I made them with just regular printer paper. Um, so the materials that you're going to need for this class is four pieces of paper. So again, I'm going to be using printer paper and just cutting it to size. If you do have um, colored paper that you'd like to use, I think it would look really pretty. Or even, um, I've seen it done with book pages, and those look really pretty as well. If you have an old book that you don't mind cutting up, those look really pretty as well. If you do need to cut your paper to size, I would recommend a ruler and a pair of scissors, and then some glue. I'm going to be using hot glue for mine, and then also something to curl the edges of your flowers. I'm actually using a really small crochet hook. Um, I used a colored pencil for my, um, for my red one over here, and I found that the colored pencil was a little bit too big of a cylinder. Um, it didn't curl it quite as well as the crochet hook. So if you have something a little bit smaller than a pencil size, um, I would recommend that if you do have it, but the pencil did work. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I need to cut down my paper to five inches by five inches. And I'm going to put my camera down so that you can see my workspace. So I've measured out five inches across, make a little hash mark, and then one across as well. All right, so I have my two points. I'm gonna cut mine all together to save on some time. I'm actually gonna put one more mark at the bottom here. Right, so we're going to cut our paper into a square. We have our paper now that's five by five inches, it'll be a square, and we're going to take each piece of paper and we're going to fold it diagonally, corner to corner, and we're going to be folding it three times. So I'm folding it in half once here. Can you see my page okay? Yes. yes. Okay, great. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. And now I have a smaller triangle and we're going to fold it in half one more time. And you should have a small triangle like this. So once you have that, we're going to be cutting in like a moon shape around to cut the tip off. And we want it to be in, this is going to make our petals. I'm going to cut it just. Can you hold it down a little lower? Oh, yep, yeah, sorry. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So that's what mine looks like now. So I had to have the tip cut off. And we're gonna do that for each of our pieces of paper. I'm going to take my next one and fold it in half. Fold it in half again. And one more time. All right, so I have my triangle. And then I like to use the one I just cut as a template so that it, they all look very similar. So I just hold it up to my uncut one and try to follow that line. And I find using the very back of the scissors works the best just because the paper is folded. Um, 
and the back of the scissors seems to make the cleanest cut. There's number two. Do the same thing again. One last one. of our four pieces and now we're just going to cut the very tip of our flower off and it's going to make a little um, hole in the center so you don't need to cut off very much just the little tip we're going to do that in each of our four pieces all right and then we're going to open up all of our petals. So that's what it should look like when you're done cutting. Okay, so I have four. If you need to make any adjustments if one of your cuts didn't come out quite how you'd like to you can fix it now when you've opened them up I have a couple little edges that could use a little cleanup now we're going to take one of our petals and we're going to cut out just one petal so where you see the fold marks where we made it into a triangle, you're going to follow those lines and just cut out one petal. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. So now I've just cut out one of the petals. And on our next one, we're going to cut out two petals. Here's what our next one should look like. And this one we're going to cut out three. Each one we're just cutting off one more than our last. Here's our next one. And then our last one, we are going to cut off four petals. So we're just gonna cut it right in half. And again, you'll just follow the crease marks that we made when we were folding our paper. Okay, and then this one, the one we just cut in half, we're going to use one half of this and you're going to set the other one aside. We're not going to use that one for this flower. So now we have all of our petals cut. And now we need to glue them together. So I'm going to take our first one where we just cut out one petal and we're going to fold it into a cone shape. So I'm going to overlap two of the petals so that they cover each other and it makes a cone shape. And then we're going to glue it together. So I have my hot glue gun here. Excellent. Yeah, I'm over. 
overlapping two of the petals on top of each other. And that's what it should look like. And so we're gonna do this for all of our petals. So I now have this one that we cut out two. I'm going to overlap two of them and glue it in place. If you are using hot glue to glue your petals together, I would try to be sparing on the glue at the very top of your petals because we are going to curl them back. You'll have to curl through the glue basically. So if you put a large amount of glue at the very top of your petals, it'll make it harder to, to curl them. I just put a little, a little bit on the top. I saw this project done with book pages and it looked really pretty and I didn't have any books that I was willing to to cut up to to try it with. I had went through my bookshelf last summer and I I donated my books that I wasn't going to keep anymore so I didn't have any that I was willing to part with but if you guys do have like an old classic book or even like a sheet of music the, the design of it looks really pretty when you make it into a flower. When you get down to the petal with only two left, that little bit off. it looks like a heart. We're actually only going to overlap half of our petal. So when we fold that in half, it's going to be half of each side of the petal because it's so small. And that's what it's going to look like when we're done. So it's only half of the petal instead of covering the full petal. And be careful of the glue. It gets a little tricky to fold it and the hot glue is quite hot still. So be careful not to touch it. There we are. There's our half. Let's put a little bit more glue. And then for our last petal, we are just going to fold this one in on itself. And I recommend pre-folding it and just gluing the edge. Cool. All right, so I have that one kind of folded. Fold it in on itself. All right, and that's what that one should look like. So now we have all of our petals folded into little cones. That one. And now we need to curl our petals. So in the beginning, I said I'm using a crochet hook. It's um, a small size. It's actually a size E, if you're interested. And I found that worked pretty well. You can see the difference between the flower. So the one with that's white is the flower I used with the crochet hook. And the red one, I used a colored pencil. You can see that the, the petals didn't curl quite as nicely and hold their shape. 
Um, this one I made a couple days ago and it's still holding its curl. I would recommend a small sized cylinder to curl your petals. So we're going to be curling away from the center. So we're gonna be curling away from you. And I just roll a piece of paper over our cylinder. I'm gonna have to roll it a couple times. And you can see that it's curled. So we're gonna do this for all of our petals. All right, so that's what my first one looks like. We're gonna do this for each of our petals. This is the one I had glue on it and it just makes it a little bit more stiff to curl, but it still does curl. a stem on my flower, but if you would like to add one, you can see that there is a hole at the bottom of your cones. You can use craft wire to, to feed up through each of the petals and you can glue that in place if you would like to have a stem. We're going to make a few, make like a bouquet. Smaller ones do get a little bit more difficult to curl, but do the best you can. You may only get a little bit of a curl on your last couple. That one's just curled a little bit. Your very inside one, um, that one's much too small to curl, so this one you can leave as it is. So once you're satisfied with the curls on your petals, we are going to go ahead and assemble them. So we're going to assemble from biggest to smallest. So this is my biggest cone, and this is my second biggest cone. So I'm going to, to glue in my second biggest cone into the largest one. And you wanna make sure to, to stagger your petals. So you don't want them to lie right on top of each other. You wanna stagger them and go in between the petals. So the little dip between, you'll wanna put your next petal right there. I'm going to take my cone and I'm going to put some glue right on the bottom, right around the hole in the center. I would recommend leaving that hole open if you are going to put a, a stem in. If you're not going to, then it doesn't, um, it's okay if you do cover it over with glue. I'm just gonna press it in so it stays. So that's what it's gonna look like for the first one. And you're going to take your next cone and do the same thing. We're just going to keep layering our petals until we get down to our smallest one and keep staggering our petals around. All right, here's the next one. With the hot glue, it does take a couple minutes for it to set completely. So it might seem a little wobbly at first, but once it does set, it's actually pretty sturdy. 
I was a little worried at first when I was making my first one. Then I go, oh, I think it's going to fall apart. But once I let it sit for a little bit and the glue dried completely, um, it was actually pretty sturdy. If you want to put your petals in first before you glue them to decide where you'd like them, feel free to do that. And then you don't have to decide right when the glue is on there. I usually do that with my smallest ones to kind of get an idea of where I'd like them placed. I'm going to do mine that way. As much as you can, try to make sure your petals are centered and not tilting off to the side. But every flower that you make is going to look unique. Give it as much as you try to make them the same. So that's kind of the fun of it. My last center piece, right in the middle. Right. And that is our finished product. So here's our flower. Again, if you do want to put a stem in the bottom, you can use the holes that we had at the bottom of our, our petals. And you can poke some wire up through there to move to a stem. You guys have any questions? No, no. very nice. Yeah, very nice. Seems you guys like able to make one? Pardon? Were you guys able to make one? Oh, we weren't making. No, we're we were just watching. writing directions. Gotcha. All right. Well, if you guys do end up making one, we would love to see it. Okay. But that is our flowers. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. We'll see you guys later, okay? Uh, yep, bye. bye. All right, bye. So you didn't click on vision, so she